Brookside Antiques here today. We have this 1952 Royal Quiet Deluxe Vintage Portable Typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. First, we're going to set the adjustable paper guide, which is this here. And this helps you guide the paper in straight. And I just like to line it right up with the edge of the platen. The platen is the main roller that feeds the paper. And it helps guide that in. And this is your paper bale that sits on top. Once you get to the end of the margin, you hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip that switch down one. It skips two when you hit the line space, one more, and it skips three. That works good. We're gonna keep it on single for now and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys tighten nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. It's a very nice typing machine. Royal made some of the best typewriters back in this era. Made in the USA. Let me show you how to use the magic margins. So right now the margins are right at the beginning and the end of the page, but if you wanted your right margin closer to the middle, you just hit this right button and it sends the margin magically to that spot. And if you want to push it towards the edge, you hold the carriage release, which is behind the knob here and the magic margin at the same time, and you, it'll allow you to push it all the way out to the end. Same concept with the left side. Say I want it closer to the middle, I just hit this left button here, and it sends that to that spot. And if you want it closer to the edge, you hold the carriage release and the magic margin at the same time. And there you go, you have your margin set all the way in the end. There's a shift on each side and the shift lock on the left side. To clear that, you just hit the shift button again. Backspace on the top left here, that works good. Got a tab function and the tabs are set by flipping let's take the page out to take the page out you just flip that switch down and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen wall and you just pull the page out easy or load thicker paper by carbon copy or cardstock make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it will not load correctly this is how you find your tabs actually this is where your margins are so you can you can move your margins too by finger if you want if you don't want to use the magic margin you just push these down and move them. Those are your margins. The tabs are behind the carriage. So this model is kind of unique. It's got the tabs that are, you just push them in and move them with your thumb like that. And it's got a set number of tabs. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And if you don't need to use them, you can just put them all the way in the end. So I'll show you how to use those. You get to the beginning of the carriage and then you hit the tab button on the right side and you stop at each one of those little tabs. That works good. Open the hood. You got your touch control right here. It's on zero, but if you want to go more tension when you hit the keys, you go as high as it, you can go as high as nine. And when you hit the keys, you got to hit them harder, but they respond faster, so it's for faster, more experienced typers. I like it on zero myself. This is your color selector switch. So right now it's on blue, but if you want red, which is right now we have a solid black ribbon, but sometimes you have a black and red ribbon. The bottom portion of the ribbon is red, so you switch it to the red, and it just goes up higher to hit the bottom portion of it. When you have it on blue, it hits the top portion of the ribbon. That works good. This is your, you have the spools in here. This is your ribbon direction control. So it's pulling to the right and type clockwise. And if you want it to pull to the left, kind of clockwise, you just flip that switch right there. We're gonna keep it pulling to the right because all the brand new ribbon is loaded on the left side. This has a spring spring catch on it, so that's how you close that. Here's your carriage release behind the knob here. And that's your magic margin button. And this is the carriage release on this side behind the knob. And it has this lever here on the left side. If you pull that down all the way, it'll disable the spacing when you turn the knob. Push it back. And each one of those clicks is a space and it also has the same concept when you push in this button. Kind of like a faster way to disable the spacing. And what that does is allows you to get to a specific spot on the page without having to deal with the clicks, each one of those clicks. 
And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.